Hi and welcome to My Wild Life here, week 45, um, halfway through the 40s. Um, so yes, right, it's been a quite a busy one mouse-wise um, around with me. Um, cannot believe it's been really quiet for quite a few weeks with, uh, with mice, you know, mice of bang foes turning up in the kitchen and then suddenly huge influx. I think we can tell that winter must be on its way uh, with the number of mice that have suddenly appeared. So, yes, so let's crack on with My Wildlife here, week 45. Well, the blackbirds have been out and about. Uh, we've got quite a few in the garden now. Uh, I think some of them are maybe Scandinavian visitors. And you can see that they've been busy here. Uh, open losses in the tar, uh, the tar mark just outside the workshop here. They've been busy looking for any invertebrates that are hiding under the moss to feed themselves. Dexter's found that there's uh, two longworth traps, there's one behind them, just in there, uh, and this one here. Both have mice in them. So, come away Dexter, come away, come away. So this big trap here hasn't been doing its job. They normally fly into it, but we've definitely had some mice in, and they've not been ending up in there, so I've supplemented it with a couple of long worth traps. So I'll take them out and see what they've got, whether it's mice or voles. I suspect mice though. Right, so the first one's out, and it is indeed a wood mouse. So transfer it into a little tub. And it's a male. Right, and the second one is also a wood mouse. No great surprise there. And this one's also a male. So that's them both ready to be taken off for release. Now, this is a little video that was caught, caught in the back garden and most people if they saw this might actually be a bit worried but I'm not and the reason why I'll explain before I show you what it is because I shoot a lot of video in the back garden I've got a Wi-Fi wi wi camera just outside my workshop here um, I had live camera and it's recording all the time 24 7 upload to the um to, to the cloud so i can review everything that's there and this creature turned up on it uh, just the once and that doesn't give me any concern because it's only turned up the once if it was so it was passing through so don't know where it was coming from where it was going to but certainly passing through because if it was actually resident in the garden or locally um i would be you know, I would, I would be seeing it all the time. So it just turns up the winds. So what it is, is a rat. It's a brown rat. So I'm not too concerned about it. If it was turning up constantly, uh, on it, I might be a bit concerned, especially because I keep hens, so I'm always very aware of, um, you know, if there's rats around, uh, you know, to keep an eye out for rats. But just seeing it the winds, I'm not too worried because, uh, as I say, this is sort of like, you know, I've got... Weeks and weeks and weeks I've been watching uh, this, this, and this is the only time I've had a brown rat turn up on my security camera, my wildlife uh, security camera. So I'm really pleased to see it, and what's more importantly is I'm pleased it's not stuck around. <laughs> so have a look at this. Right, got two yesterday morning, and looks like we've got two in the traps this morning as well, and Dexter's in his way because, yep, here he comes, just to check. Right, it's another wood mouse in the first trap. This one looks a bit smaller, so it looks a bit younger. Right. This one's a female this time. So, we had two males yesterday, so... First one here's a female, see if the next one's male or female. Surprisingly, fourth one in two days is uh, a wood mouse. Winter seems to be the time that wood mice like to come in the house and bang like to come in during the summer. I don't know why. Uh, I mean, they'll 
I might get a bank phone in winter, I might get a mouse in summer, but I'm more likely to get wood mice in winter and bank phone in summer. So this one's looking quite pointed at the rear, so it might be a male. So, but I'll take them out and see. It is indeed a male. So that's three males and one female over the past two days. So I've got the female on the top and the male on the bottom, I think it is. So take them out and release them. There we go. Right, thought I'd do a bit of myth busting uh, on uh, mice loving cheese. Basically, yeah, they eat cheese, but they've not got any great affinity to cheese. In fact, they've actually got quite a few things they prefer more peanuts, if chocolate, who doesn't like some chocolate, you know, over cheese. If you put out, you know, a bit of each, you know, cheese would maybe be one of the last ones they actually go for. Uh, it's probably it's probably actually down to sort of like media, TV and film, sort of like in the past, cartoons and stuff like that. The saying that cheese, you know, they put putting a bit of cheese in mouse traps and stuff like that. You know, they've got no, nothing special about cheese. Yes, they'll eat it, but actually, if they've got something else to eat, they'll probably eat that instead. So yes, so mice and cheese, you know, no great affinity between the two. So another myth busted. Wood pigeons just landed on the bird table. Let's try to work out how to and get down onto it. And I don't know whether you can see that's Dexter there taking a great interest in it. Right, well, this is the fifth one in three days in the trap, so we'll go and see what it is. I will suspect it might be a wood mouse. What a surprise, it is indeed a wood mouse. And it's a female, and she's not happy at all, so pop her a tub. It's getting that time of year again, when the hedge is just chock full of Starlings, there's probably some actually also up in those conifers, but you can see the few of them fluttering about there. It means going up to shut the hens up at night is a very noisy business. I think not like to guess how many is in there, but it certainly be hundreds, if not actually in four figures. It's sort of like the entire hedge. I mean, I can hear them, see them up there, and I can hear them right down the bottom there. And there's usually some up in these trees. There's a real worm beetle just exiting its pupae, so I'll transfer it up to here with all the other adults. So, my wildlife year, week 45, over and done with. Uh, so hope you find that one a good one and I'll see you soon for My Wildlife Year week 46. Uh, take care, stay safe and enjoy the wildlife.